In this WordPress.org website tutorial video, I'm going to be going over how to create a WordPress.org website step by step from start to finish. I'll be showing you how to access professional pre-made WordPress website templates to make creating your site an easy process. I'll also be going over how to create your WordPress.org website using one of the most popular drag and drop editors, Elementor Page Builder, so you can create a professional looking WordPress.org website via drag and drop. The great thing about this WordPress.org website tutorial is it is extremely easy to follow along with, even if you have no experience in starting and creating a WordPress website. At the end of this video, you will have your WordPress.org website successfully created. The first step I'm going to cover is how to choose and register your own domain name for free. To have a WordPress website, you have to have a domain name. A domain name is the name of your website. For example, the website name for YouTube is youtube.com. Step two, I'll be going over how to choose a hosting provider. An easy way to think of hosting is it's like the physical storefront of your website. To have a WordPress website, you have to have hosting. Step three is going over everything WordPress and creating your WordPress.org website using professional pre-made templates and creating your site using one of the most popular drag and drop editors. Let's get started with the WordPress.org website tutorial. The first thing you want to do to create your WordPress.org website is to click the link in the description below to be taken to Bluehost so you can take advantage of our exclusive Bluehost discount where you'll be getting a free domain name and up to 70% off web hosting for your WordPress website. Make sure you click the link in the description to get this great deal. A little disclosure, the link is an affiliate link, meaning I receive a commission from Bluehost at no extra cost to you. Plus you'll get an awesome Bluehost discount. A little about Bluehost. Bluehost powers over 2 million websites worldwide and over 850,000 blogs around the world. They are also recommended by WordPress.org since 2005. Installing WordPress is a quick and easy process that makes creating a WordPress website that much easier. They provide 24-7 support via chat, email, and phone, and they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. If for any reason you're unhappy, you can cancel and get a refund within the first 30 days. Once you click the link in the description below, you'll be on the Bluehost page. Click the Get Started button. You'll now be on the Bluehost Plans page. You'll see four different plans you can choose from. The Basic, Plus, Choice Plus, and Pro Plan. You'll see the Bluehost hosting terms you can choose from are 12 and 36 months. You'll get the cheapest pricing with the 12 month term. The Basic Plan is a great plan if you're going to have just one site. If you're going to have multiple sites, the Plus Plan is a good plan as it allows unlimited websites. The Choice Plus Plan allows unlimited websites and comes with free domain privacy and free automated backups for one year. Domain privacy protects your personal information from the public and will show Bluehost's default contact information instead of yours in the public who is database. The automated backup will backup your site daily and will allow you to restore your site to a previous backup with a click of a button in case something happens to it, like a website crash or an editing mistake. The Pro Plan comes with unlimited websites and includes domain privacy, free automated backups for a year, and includes a free dedicated IP. With a dedicated IP, instead of your site sharing the same IP address with others, you'll have your own IP. The Pro Plan also comes with optimized CPU resources, which is good for high traffic sites or complex resource heavy sites. For most, the Basic, Plus, or Choice Plus plan is what you want to choose from. I'm going to choose the Basic plan for this tutorial. Once you decide on a plan to choose, click the Select button. You'll now be on a domain page where you can choose your free domain name for your site. You can type it in and search available domains under the create a new domain. If you already own a domain name, you can enter it in where it says use the domain you own. If you can't decide on a domain name, you can click the create my domain later link and you can choose your free domain name at a later date in the Bluehost dashboard. Click next to proceed to the next step. You now be on the create your account page. You now want to input your account information. Next is the package information section. It'll have the Bluehost plan you chose with the term, the price, 
and you'll see domain registration free as well as the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate being free. Next is the Bluehost Package Extra section. What you see here can vary on the plan you chose as some plans come with some of these or if you didn't choose a free domain name, domain privacy won't show. All these Bluehost Package Extras are completely optional and up to you whether you want any of them or not. First is Domain Privacy Plus Protection. I do recommend Domain Privacy Plus Protection as it'll keep your personal information private so that spammers and telemarketers won't have access to your personal information and contact you by phone and email with offers of their services. When you register a domain name, no matter what company you choose, the domain goes into the public who is database as domain names are regulated. If you select Domain Privacy Plus Protection, it'll show Bluehost default contact information instead of yours. Highly recommend Domain Privacy Plus Protection. Next is Jetpack Backup Daily. This will back up your site daily and you can restore your site to a previous backup with a click of a button with their one click restore. An example of where this package extra can be good is if your site gets hacked into or you mess something up while creating it or editing it you can restore it to the version right before whatever happened took place and everything will be back to normal. The next add-on is Yoast SEO Premium. Yoast is the number one WordPress plugin for SEO. Something I want to note is Yoast SEO is a free plugin you can download in WordPress. Yoast SEO Premium comes with additional features such as full access to Yoast SEO Academy that helps you learn about SEO, 24 seven premium support, It'll save time and spot ranking opportunities with Yoast SEO workouts, prevent your site visitors from ending up on dead links, content quality and link suggestions as you write your content. You can view your blog posts as they would show on search engines and social media posts to help you optimize better. In my opinion, the Yoast SEO free version is all you need as it is super helpful in guiding you to optimize your site for SEO. Next, you'll see single domain SSL. Bluehost does come with a free SSL certificate for your site, so this add-on isn't necessary unless you want to upgrade to a positive SSL certificate, which will allow you to show a site security badge on your site if you'd like. And with the positive SSL certificate, you'll have a $10,000 limited guarantee warranty by Komodo, which protects your customers. Next, you will see SiteLock Security Essentials. This add-on checks your website daily for malware. It protects your site from hackers and malicious attacks. It will notify you if your site has been hacked into and malicious code has been placed into it. SiteLock Essentials also removes malware automatically. This add-on can be beneficial and give you peace of mind if your site were to get hacked into and malware is placed on it. It isn't necessary though. The next add-on is Google Workspace Starter. This package extra provides you with an email address ending in your domain name, along with other features provided by Google Workspace, such as Gmail, Calendar, Chat, Cloud Storage with Drive, Video Conferencing with Meet, and many more Google Workspace features. I do want to note that Bluehost does come with free email addresses ending in your domain name, so this add-on isn't necessary unless you really want to utilize all the added features with Google Workspace. Next, enter your payment information in and click the submit button. Bluehost will now email you your Bluehost receipt. You are now directed to a page where you can create your Bluehost account so you can log into the Bluehost dashboard where you can begin in creating your site. Click the create your password button. Enter a password to be used for logging into WordPress. Accept the terms and condition. Click the create account button. Your Bluehost account has now been created and is ready to be logged into. Click the Go to Login button. Enter your Bluehost login details to be logged into Bluehost so you can begin in creating your site. Once logged in, you'll be on this page where you want to click the Create Your Website button. You'll now be on a page where it'll ask you how much help you need with building your site. Feel free to click the one that you want. You can also click Skip This Step. I'm going to click to skip this step. The next page, it'll ask you the primary purpose of your site. You can select one if you'd like. 
If you click into the other tab, a drop down will show, giving you more options. Under this, you can also click skip this step if you'd like to. I'm going to click skip this step. You'll now be on a page asking you how you'd like to build your website. On the left is WordPress, which gives you limitless customization. And over to the right, you have the Bluehost Website Builder, which also uses WordPress and comes with a guided drag and drop editor. With the Bluehost Website Builder, you'll be limited in customizations that you can do over using the WordPress option over to the left. I'm going to select WordPress by clicking the Get Started button. You'll now be on the Create a Website page. You can select what type of website it is and who you are creating your site for if you'd like. Click the continue button or skip this step. You'll now be on a page where you can name your site along with putting in your site's tagline. You can always fill this out later, so no worries if you aren't sure on this yet. Click continue or skip this step. You'll now be on a page where you can select a theme for your website. There's a bunch of pages of themes you can go through. You can also choose a theme in the WordPress dashboard. I'm going to be showing you pre-made professional WordPress themes you can choose and create your site via drag and drop. Feel free to choose a theme now if you see one you want or click skip this step. You'll now be in the Bluehost dashboard. You'll see the login to WordPress button in the top right. Click this to go to the WordPress dashboard so you can start creating your WordPress site. You can also click My Sites in the left side menu. Click Manage Site. Click the Login to WordPress button in the top right. You'll now be in the WordPress dashboard where you can begin in creating and building your WordPress site. Now we want to pick out a theme to begin creating a site. To pick out a theme for your site, on the far left you will see tabs. Find the Appearance tab and hover over it. Click Themes as this is where you can pick out a theme for your site. Next, click Add New Theme. You'll now see WordPress themes that you can choose from. There's thousands of free themes to choose from. Now I want to show you how to access free professionally designed WordPress themes and how to edit them easily with the drag and drop editor. Type in Astra in the search field. Click the Install button. Once it is done installing, click the Activate button. Once it is done activating the theme, you want to find the Plugins tab in the side menu. Click Add New. In the search field, type in Starter Templates. You want to click Install on it, then click Activate. If it doesn't take you to this page like seen here, just hover over the Appearance tab in the side menu. Click on Starter Templates. You now want to click the Build Your Website button. Choose Elementor for the page builder. It will now showcase a bunch of WordPress themes that you can create your site with using drag and drop. You can type in the type of website you want to create to pull up templates based on that. You'll see a bunch of categories you can hover over and select to build your site. If you click a theme, it'll show you what it'll look like so you can preview it. Click the X button to go back to the themes page. Now let me walk you through the steps on how to choose your theme and build your site with the drag and drop editor, Elementor Page Builder. Select the theme you want. I'll choose this one. You can upload a logo if you'd like. You can do this at a later time, so if you don't have one now, no worries. Click the skip and continue button. You now want to choose the colors and font for your site. You can update these at a later time or change them whenever you'd like. Click the continue button. You now be on the tell us a little about yourself. You don't have to fill this out if you don't want to. Just make sure under advanced options you have each one selected. Click the submit and build my website button. It'll begin building your website. Once it is done, you'll be on the congratulations page. Click the view your website button. It'll now take you to your website and what it looks like. Now let's go over how to make edits to the WordPress theme 
and how to use the drag and drop editor to create your site. To make edits to your site, click the edit with Elementor tab on the top of the page. It'll now bring you to the drag and drop editor where you can create your site quick and easy. To make edits to a part of the page, just click where you want to make edits and start making edits. I can change create your website to my demo website. If you want to make edits to the background image, right click on the section. Click edit selection. Click style. Hover over the image and click the trash can icon if you want to remove the image. Click over the image and you can upload a photo to place it here or click media library to upload images already uploaded in WordPress. I'll click the nine dots at the top to get back to where you can drag stuff into the page. I'll scroll down a bit on the page. You can select what you want over on the left and drag it in wherever you'd like. If you right click on an area, you can delete it if you don't want it. By right clicking, you can duplicate something if you need to duplicate it. You can drag something over to somewhere else on the page by selecting it and dragging it over to where you want it. Over on the left, you'll see where you can link out the text to a page, change the sizing of the text, change the alignment of the text. If you click style, you can change things like the text color and under typography, the font you want to use and more. If you scroll down to the drag widget here section, click the plus icon. You can select the structure of the section of the page you want. I'll select this one. You can then drag in whatever you like in the sections. If you click the folder icon, then click blocks in the menu. You can scroll through lots of pre-made blocks that you can add to a page of your site and then start replacing them with your content. This makes designing your site quick and easy because you can find almost any kind of design you want for a part of the page and start building it easily. I'll select one, click the insert button to insert it to the page. When you click the insert button on the block you like at first, you'll need to create a free Elementor account. Once it is created, you'll be able to add the blocks in quick and easy. I'll click the insert button what I selected is now inserted on the page where I can begin editing. I'll scroll back down to the drag widget here section. If you click the starter templates icon, you can click blocks in the menu and then it'll give you lots more page design ideas you can choose from. For these, you can just click one you like. I'll click this one and then I'll click the import button to import it to the page to then start adding your own content and editing it how you want it. Now I want to cover the contact us form to show you how this works. I'm just going to drag over the WP forms. You can select a form. If you want to make edits to the form, click edit the selected form. You can click the create a new form if you want to create a new form. I'm going to click edit the selected form. It's now going to bring up the builder for the contact us form. You can hover over an area to delete it or duplicate it. You can click an area and drag it to wherever you'd like it. If you want to add something, you can drag it over from the side. If you click build options, you can click on a part of the form and then make changes from the side. You can select to make this part of the form a required or not required part to fill out. If you click advanced, you can click the part of the form you want to change and you can select between the size of the form field for that area and then change if you want anything to show in the form field where they input their information. You can click preview to preview the form. Click save to save changes. When you are done, click the X button and you'll be taken back to the editor for the page. Let's get to know the drag and drop editor Elementor better. At the bottom left of the page, you'll see the update button. Click this when you want to update the changes you've made. If you click the arrow, you can save it as a draft or save this page as a template to then use for another template of another page you create. To view changes you've made to your site, click the preview changes button 
and it'll showcase your site. If you click responsive mode, you can view what your site looks like on desktop, tablet, or mobile devices. If you click the menu icon in the top left and click site settings, you can change the colors of your site, fonts, and more. I'll click the X button. Click the menu icon. If you choose view page, it'll show you the view of the page and this is the easiest way to get back to the WordPress dashboard. If you want to make edits to a certain page on your site, you can click it in the menu and then click edit with Elementor. To go to the WordPress dashboard, hover over your site title name and click dashboard. If you hover over the pages tab, click add new to add a new page to your site. If you click all pages, it'll showcase all the pages on your site. If you hover over the media tab and click on library, it'll show you all the images you have uploaded in WordPress. If you click add new at the top, you can then upload or drag an image into WordPress. If you hover over posts and click add new, you can create a new blog post for your site. If you click all posts, it'll pull up all the posts you have on your site. If you click the comments tab, you will see all the comments you have on your blog post. You can easily reply, mark it as spam, or trash the comment. If you hover over the plugins tab and click add new, you can then search for or browse plugins to add to your site. Any feature or customization you might want on your site, more than likely there's a plugin for that. If you hover over the appearance tab in the left side menu, click on menus. This is where you can edit the menu on your site. You can add new pages to the menu or drag a page to a different order. If you click the tiny arrow, you can change the name of it or completely delete it from the menu. If you want to create a completely new menu, you can click create a new menu. Now let me show you how to make edits to the footer area of your site, along with uploading a logo, favicon, and other customization. If you hover over the appearance tab in the side menu and click customize, you'll be on the customize page. Click the footer builder. You can then click an area in the footer area where you see the pencil icon to start making edits to that section over on the left side. If you click the plus icon, you can then add whatever you like to the footer area in that section. If you hover over an area of the footer and click the design button, you can then design things like link colors, font colors, fonts, and more. You can click the X button to remove that area from the footer. If you click the pencil icon here on the left hand side, you can then choose how many columns you want your footer to be. You can then click the plus icon to add sections to that part of the footer. I'm going to click the back arrow twice. If you click site identity, you can then upload a logo and a favicon, which is the site icon for your site. Click select site icon to then upload your site icon, also known as the favicon for your site. If you click site title in logo settings, you can then change the logo to your own and make other customizations to the logo area for your site. I'm gonna click the back button twice. You'll now see a bunch of different options you can select from for different parts of the site, such as header builder, blog, pages, sidebar, performance to help speed up your site, and more. You now know how to access pre-made professional templates, how to start creating your self-hosted WordPress site, and making edits to it using the drag and drop editor, Elementor Page Builder. That is my WordPress.org website tutorial, going over how to create a WordPress.org website step-by-step. If you have any questions, get in touch in the comments as I'm here to help you with anything you need. Give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment letting us know if the tutorial was helpful or not as the comments help improve our tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more website tutorial videos.